um, getting a master's in counseling, and it was clear that it was going to be a lot of time dealing with mental health, but not really nutrition and exercise and diet, and those are really important to me. And so one of my mentors, uh, I mentioned that to him, and I looked at IIN, which I heard was a good program, and so I was planning on doing that. And then uh, one of my mentors, Artemis Kazane, said, hey, have you heard of Mark David and IPE? And I said, no, and I looked at it and immediately knew, okay, this is definitely what I want to do. You know, as a guy, you, you know, you taught to be really strong and not have a lot of emotions, and that's kind of what my dad passed on in a way. And for me to do this course, it helped me kind of get in touch with the healthy masculine and even the feminine. And so it's just helped me embody even more who I am. And so it's been, it's been a natural progression. It feels like I was ready for it, and it's really helped me grow a lot. Most people I talk to are pretty interested when I mention eating psychology. Like, I could probably use some of that. So I think there's a lot of demand. Our relationship to our body and eating is not something that's commonly discussed in counseling circles that I'm familiar with. And in my curriculum, there's zero nutrition. And so I feel like in five years, I'll have a thriving uh, counseling practice where the body image and eating psychology will be a, a pillar of, of something that I share with people. I feel like I'm a healthy person and I've, I've been in good shape for my whole life really, but um, I noticed during the program, hey, I've kind of been binge eating, you know, especially, you know, high school, college, drunken nights where I'm eating 30 Oreos and 40 ounces of milk or something, or it's just like, ugh. And, and that goes along with the whole masculine gain weight and just like load up and overeat. And so it's been a process of me slowing down has been a big part of the training, learning how essential it is to not only with my eating, but with my life and um, having compassion for this eating, kind of curious, why am I eating so much? And so I've been able to dial down those behaviors. I haven't had cravings or I had a need to eat so much. And when I do eat a lot, I kind of back off usually more quickly and have more awareness around that and, and more compassion for it's okay that I just ate a bunch of food and don't feel my best. It's a celebration. It's, you know, I consider this vacation, even though this is business for me as well, but, um, I think Mark's a pioneer, and, and I think this message he's sharing is really essential for the 21st century. We need to learn how to heal the, the feminine and our relationship with our bodies, and these images of success that is ingrained in Western society, I think, is failing us. And so Mark's already, he's offering new definitions for these things, along with other visionaries as well, but to be in a group of people who really get the message and are inspired to carry it in their own personal ways is really empowering. So I'm excited to share my own version of, of this new story of the healthy masculine and feminine and an exciting new future that's not so pessimistic.